Hey guys, Clade here. Welcome to my gear guide for Fear Warriors and Battle for Azeroth. Now this guide is going to focus on everything you know to get ready for the first raid. So basically there's everything you can and should be trying to gear for in the first three weeks of the expansion. Now all the gear I want to mention in this guide is going to come from the dungeons, the 10 new dungeons within the expansion. But there is one piece of gear called Crawlock's Claw that does come a world boss called Doom Gorger Crawlock. Now I don't exactly know how the world boss mechanic is going to work in Battle for Azeroth. If it's going to be the same as Legion or it's going to be slightly different. But whatever it is, if you're going to see this world boss up, try to get him. Try to get this trinket because it is definitely going to be the best in slot trinket in the expansion. You can kind of see here are kind of some sims you can see. Uh, so with the claw on, it is much higher, right? The top, whatever iteration of it is with the claw, it's around, what, 400 DPS higher than the next trinket. So definitely try to get a trinket if you can. Now, of course, if you cannot, and you can only get gear from the dungeons, here is the best in slot gear you can get from dungeons before the raid comes out. Now, don't worry about trying to memorize all this really quickly and taking a screenshot. I will share with you guys um, this link to my Excel file that does have all the you know best in slot gear, has a name, has the dungeon you can farm them in. Go ahead and farm away on these items. I do want to know on here um, the talents that I did use right for the Sims. It's going to be Endless Rage, Double Time, Sudden Death. War Paint, Carnage, Dragon Roar, and Anger Management. I've simmed around with the talents. Sudden Death and Fierce Slash with this gear setup is kind of even. I think it's kind of just your preference on which one you want to play. I do prefer Sudden Death better, so I don't have to worry about Fierce Slash. So, but if you wanted to, uh, you could try out Fierce Slash a little bit with this build, but I still recommend Sudden Death. Now, as far as for pinpointing exactly what piece of gear you guys should be farming for, it's kind of this these gear you see here highlighted. It's gonna be the weapons, the helmets, the shoulders, the chest, and the trinkets. Those are gonna be the items you really, really wanna focus on and get those geared as much as possible. If you're ever thinking about what dungeons to be farming, right, try to do these dungeon choices. Choice number one, you wanna get those geared, especially the dungeons that you can farm over and over. So basically, King's Rest and the dungeon called Siege of Boralus. Those are the two mythic only dungeons that you're only going to be able to do on the mythic difficulty so you can't just spam them in heroics but all of the eight other dungeons you definitely can and luckily you know the Azerite gear pieces which are very very important in the expansion getting the best one is huge comparatively to the worst one essentially the, the difference between the Azerite gear is much more than even the weapons the trinkets and of course the rest of the gear in your kit so definitely try to get these three as good as possible and speaking of the Azerite trades right um, what is the best one? The best one is going to be Simming and Rage, which is the best in slot pieces, all three of them. They all have this Simming and Rage one, so this is where you want. Rampage deals an additional, you know, whatever amount of damage and generates one Rage per strike. That damage, of course, scales with the eye level of the actual item. And then, of course, when you get this, you know, last five here, that actually pushes up a little bit more too. Just in case you guys have questions regarding stacking of the traits, yes, you can definitely stack Azerite traits on the damage and whatever does get more powerful, it just kind of adds them together. So if I have two of these, it would just add it together, but it does not increase the duration. Right, so if there's any Azerite traits where it's like, oh, when you use this ability, you get this buff or this amount of time. Now, the buff actual number will increase, but the duration won't, right? So having three traits that all last 10 seconds, if you add them together, you'll still only get 10 seconds, but the actual effect is going to be three times as powerful. Now, as far as for our backup, if you can't get those for some reason, or if you just had this sitting in your bag, the second best trait right now is going to be Reckless Flurry. Auto attacks deal an additional X amount of damage and reduce the cooldown of recklessness by 0.1 second, right? So both of these traits are basically still going into that gameplay of, you know, carnage and anger management where you're basically spending as much rage, generating as much rage as possible, just trying to reduce the cooldown of your recklessness as much as you can and just spamming out those rampages. So both of those traits are going to work out there for that. But the other one, Simian Rage, is going to be better. Now, as far as for the weapon, obviously this does come from King's Rest, so you can only farm it, you know, once every week. So if you can't get this, you know, what are the other ones you can go for? This weapon from the Mother Load is going to be the second. So if you can't get this weapon every week, then you can always farm Mother Load then you can farm freehold for the next one and then the last three here the Caesar Baralis one the under root and I guess another one from Siege Baralis they're kind of below it but the weapons aren't that different so if you can't even just get two of the Electro Arm Bludgeoner you're totally fine you know if you get two of the Jeweled Shark Splitter you're totally fine so don't worry if you can't get this one right away you know you'll know when Mythic Plus comes out the eye level cap is increased you can farm this weapon Mythic Plus and then it'll be good but as far as we're getting ready for that first raid it is very likely that you will not have this weapon, at least 
the chances of you having two of them are pretty low. And then as far as for the other pieces of gear that we kind of didn't talk about, like these off pieces that actually have like secondary stats on them, these pieces, basically the difference between them isn't too much. So if we go back to my spreadsheet here, you can look at the different tabs that are here. This says total gear, right? All the dungeons and all the gear that drops in dungeons. And here you also have a ranking for all of the items that drops within these dungeons. But basically one is the best, six is gonna be the lowest. So if you wanna, let's say, oh, you just want a better cloak, right? So you can come down to the cloak section, Look at the one that's rank one. It's gonna be this cloak from Altel the Czar, and right, you can go and you can farm that if you want. But I do want to point out from rank one to rank eight on the cloak, for example, the sim DPS is only different by about 50 to 60 DPS. So it's okay if you have like the worser one. So that's why like you don't have to focus too much on trying to farm those as possible, right? Just try to farm right these. Um, things and then you'll eventually get the off pieces just by being in here uh, but of course once you get the max eye level of all of these then you can go ahead and farm the other stuff later on and then lastly of course we have stat weights basically your secondary stats right haste is going to be the most important secondary stats you know with this current best in slot gear setup and then you have your mastery after it and then you have crit and then you have versatility and you have strength strength actually comparatively to legion isn't even that bad but the dominance here is going to be the haste and when you guys take a look at the gear and you hover over like all these pieces that have secondary stats, you are going to see that they all have haste on them. I don't think there's a single piece in here that doesn't have haste, which is just like a testament to how strong it is currently right now at the beginning of the expansion, right? Well, it might change later on, but currently it's the best. For example, the best in slot rings, right? You have one that's haste crit, you have one that's haste mastery, and I'm pretty sure the third best in slot ring is actually haste verse. So... Haste is definitely the go-to one right now, right? You can gem it, you can enchant it, whatever it is after that. But hopefully this video is helpful for you guys on your journey to get more geared, do as much DPS as you can in Battle for Azeroth. And I hope you guys good luck because there's gonna be a lot of personal loot in this expansion. Hope you guys all get that bleed weapon and let's all do really great DPS. And as always, thanks for checking out the video guys. Feel free to subscribe to see more. See ya.